Hi everyone, so let's move towards our today's topic which is Joints of the upper limb. So there are five joints which are present in the upper limb. Number one is sterno, uh, sternoclavicular joint, acromioclavicular joint, glenohumeral joint, elbow joint and wrist joint. Basically, आप इसको बड़े इजीली याद रख सकते हैं आपकी अपर लिम हमने शुरू की थी क्लेविकल से याद करना तो एक्रोमियो क्लेविकुलर ज्वाइन फिर उसके बाद स्टर्नो क्लेविकुलर ज्वाइन और फिर उसके बाद जो आएगा वो आएगा स्कैपिला और ह्यूमरस उनके दरमियान होता है ग्लिनो ह्यूमरल ज्वाइन फिर आर्म और फोर आर्म के दरमियान जो ज्वाइंट होता है उसको कहते हैं रेडियो अलनर ज्वाइन एंड एल्बो जॉइंट एंड एल्बो जॉइंट के बाद आता है रेडियो अल्नर जॉइंट और रेडियो अल्नर जॉइंट के बाद सॉरी एक और जॉइंट आता है वो है रेडियो कार्पल जॉइंट तो बेसिकली दे आर सिक्स जॉइंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट सो दे आर वेरी ईजी इफ़ यू रिमेंबर कि इसकी ओरिजन कहाँ से हो रही है और ये कहाँ से कहाँ तक मौजूद है तो ये बड़ा सिंपल है इतना कोई मुश्किल नहीं है बिकॉज आपको नाम से ही वाजह जाहिर है सो so, Uh, we will talk about first acromioclavicular joint. So it begins from the acromion, and uh, it is uh, this joint is between the acromion process and the acromion process of scapula and uh, clavicle, or uh, lateral part of the clavicle and acromion process. And that type of joint, the joint is the type of saddle joint, and saddle joint is the type of synovial joint. It is covered by fibrocartilage, and uh, the articular surfaces are also enclosed with a joint capsule. And uh, joint capsules, सारे joints में होते हैं और वो internally synovial membrane से line होते हैं तो ये बात आप याद रखेगा. Now what are the ligaments which are present? ये बातें हैं आपको एक हर joint में ये याद रखना है उसकी arteries कौन सी हैं? उसकी नर्व कौन सी है उसकी क्लिनिकल पॉइंट्स कौन से हैं और उसकी लिगमेंट्स कौन से यही मेन मेन बातें हैं ठीक है आगे चल के हम पढ़ेंगे स्टर्नो क्लेविकुलर जॉइंट तो वो स्टर्नम से क्लेविकल के दरमियान है स्टर्नल हेड ऑफ क्लेविकल और मीडियल हेड ऑफ द क्लेविकल और स्टर्नम के दरमियान है तो इट इज बिटवीन दैम सो दैट जॉइंट इज कॉल स्टर्नो क्लेविकुलर जॉइंट not only this you have to remember their arteries nerve and clinical point as well so we are talking about we were talking about ligaments of the acromioclavicular joint so there are two ligaments which are present in the acromioclavicular joint intrinsic and extrinsic intrinsic are acromioclavicular ligament and it is from acromion to lateral clavicle and the extrinsic ligament are two conoid ligament from the conoid tubercle conoid tubercle to coracoid process of scapula and the trapezoid ligament from the coracoid process to trapezoid line of the clavicle so these are considered as a, the extrinsic ligament are considered as a coraco clavicular ligament what are the arteries which are supplying to the acromioclavicular joint that is suprascapular artery and thoraco acromial artery and uh, nerves what are the nerves that is lateral pectoral nerve and sub suprascapular nerve okay suprascapular artery and suprascapular nerve are supplying to the acromioclavicular joint another artery is thoracoacromial artery and another nerve was lateral pectoral nerve there is a separation of the circulating uh, articulating surface that is called separative shoulder and if the ligaments are damaged the shoulder move inferior side okay so this is another thing and the humerus if humerus uh, uh, if scapula is in uh, is moving inward or uh, it uh, it goes inferior side on the inferior side the shoulder uh, if the shoulder will move will come to the inferior side uh, that is the different scenario and this is different scenario okay this in this scenario the whole shoulder is moving inferiorly now sternoclavicular joint as the name indicated is between sternum and the clavicle and uh, joint type is saddle joint and saddle joint is the type of synovial joint uh, the cartilage is fibrocartilage and the articulating surface is obviously i told you that sternal end of the clavicle and manubrium of the uh, sternum it consists of joint capsule which is internally lined by uh, synovial membrane like i said before the three ligaments which are present sternoclavicular ligament which is connecting sternum and the clavicle together interclavicular joint which is connecting the both the clavicles 
from the superior part and the costoclavicular joint which is connecting clavicle from the costal cartilage or the first rib so this is very important what are the nerve which are supplying to the costocartilar uh, sorry what are the nerve which are supplying to the sternoclavicular ligament uh, nerve of medial suprascapular nerve and nerve to subclavius arteries are internal thoracic artery and suprascapular artery suprascapular artery is supplying to acromioclavicular joint as well as sternoclavicular joint and the nerve is uh, which is which is supplying to the sternoclavicular joint are uh, medial suprascapular nerve and subclavius nerve uh, movement which is shown by sternoclavicular joint is uh, shoulder retraction shoulder protraction shoulder abduction and shoulder rotation now we will talk about glenohumeral joint glenohumeral joint is also known as shoulder joint ball and socket joint ki type hai articulating surface and uh, sorry ball and socket joint is synovial joint ki type hai articulating surface are glenoid cavity and the head of the humerus hyaline cartilage se cover hote hain three bursas maujood hote hain subacromial bursa jo acromion ke process ke paas hota hai jo coracoid process ke paas hota hai wo subcoracoid bursa and subscapular bursa is between subscapularis muscle and the scapula three ligaments are four ligaments are present glenohumeral ligament which is connecting glenoid cavity and uh, humerus and uh, that joint uh, that ligament is formed by the joint capsule coraco coraco humeral ligament it is between coracoid and humerus bone transverse humerus ligament which is uh, which is helping to hold the biceps coraco clavicular ligament which is uh, connecting coracoid process with clavicle okay so remember these four ligaments of the glenohumeral joint the movement which is taking place from the uh, glenohumeral joint is extension and the muscle which are involved in the extension of glenohumeral joint is latissimus dorsi deltoid muscle teres major flexion flap pectoralis major deltoid muscle coracobrachialis abduction deltoid muscle serratus anterior and trapezius and adduction is by pectoralis major latissimus dorsi and teres major muscle internal and external rotation is done by subscapularis pectoralis major latissimus dorsi teres major and deltoid muscle okay what are the arteries which are supplying circumflex humeral artery from axillary artery and suprascapular artery so basically suprascapular artery is supplying to glenohumeral artery as well as acromioclavicular artery and sternoclavicular artery these three joints are supplied by uh, sub suprascapular artery the nerve is uh, suprascapular nerve in all three joints and the uh, different joint uh, the different nerve which is present in the glenohumeral joint is axillary nerve lateral pectoral nerve uh, the dislocation of this joint can damage the axillary nerve which cause paralysis to deltoid muscle remember this point now move towards the elbow joint this this is the connecting area of forearm with arm and there are two articulation uh, trochlear notch with the trochlea of the humerus and uh, head of the hum uh, radius with the capitulum of the humerus red uh, head of the radius with the capitulum of humerus bursa in elbow are intratendinous within the tendon of the tricep subtendinous between olecranon and tendon of tri uh, tricep subcutaneous between olecranon and connective tissue so these are the three bursa which are present in the elbow joint what are the ligaments three ligaments radial collateral ligament ulnar collateral ligament radial collateral ligament is from the lateral side of the joint is on the lateral side of the joint obviously radius bone is on the lateral side so you can remember by this mnemonic and uh, it is arising from the lateral epicondyle lateral collateral ligament collateral ligament are arising from the epicondyle if it is radial collateral ligament it is arising from the lateral epicondyle because radius is on the lateral side ulnar collateral ligament is ulna bone is, is on the uh, medial side so it is arising from the medial epicondyle to coronoid process of ulna nerve which are supplying to this uh, is radial nerve and ulnar nerve because it is elbow joint and median musculocutaneous nerve arteries which are supplying to this uh, elbow joint is collateral branches of brachial and deep brachial branches uh, movement uh, they are flexion and extension flexion mein kon kon help karta hai bicep brachialis coraco brachialis and extension mein triceps and anconius muscle help karta hai 
Now move towards the radial nerve joint. Radial nerve joint is between radius and ulna, articulate in the forearm. There are two types of radial nerve joint: proximal radial nerve joint and distal radial nerve joint. अब अगर आप अपने face, अपने face से, अपनी आँखों से देखें, तो आपकी arm में सबसे पहले आपकी तरफ elbow आ रही है और फिर wrist आ रही है. मतलब अगर आप अपने हाथ को extend करें, तो elbow पहले है, फिर wrist है. ठीक है तो जो एल्बो पहले है ना ये है प्रोक्सिमल एंड जो पहले करीब है ना बॉडी से वो प्रोक्सिमल है और जो दूर है जो डिस्टेंस पे है वो डिस्टल है डी फॉर डिस्टेंस जी फॉर डिस्टेंस सो प्रोक्सिमल वाला जो रेडियस और अल्ला कनेक्ट होंगे यहाँ पर एल्बो साइड पर वो प्रोक्सिमल रेडियो अल्ला जॉइंट होंगे वो कैसे कनेक्टेड होंगे रेडियस बोन रेडियल नॉच ऑफ अल्लाह में आर्टिकुलेट करेगी डिस्टल एंड में अल्लर बोन अल्लर नॉच ऑफ रेडियस से आर्टिकुलेट करेगी सो दैट इज कॉल्ड डिस्टल रेडियो कार्पल रेडियो अल्नर जॉइंट द लिगामेंट विच आर प्रेजेंट आर एन्यूलर लिगामेंट विच इज ऑन द प्रोक्सिमल जॉइंट एंड इन द डिस्टल जॉइंट फिब्रो कार्टिलेजरस लिगामेंट इज प्रेजेंट इंट्रोसिशियस मेम्ब्रेन इज बेसिकली कनेक्टिंग द रेडियस एंड अल्नर जॉइंट एंड द मूवमेंट विच इज टेकिंग प्लेस फ्रॉम दिस जॉइंट इज प्रोनेशन एंड सुपीनेशन प्रोनेशन प्रोनेटर क्वारस एंड प्रोनेटर टीरीज से and supination is from the bicep and supinator muscle clinical view uh, you have to remember two fracture which is which can be take place in the radial nerve joint is montegia fracture and galezi fracture montegia fracture is uh, fracture is on the proximal shaft of the shaft of the ulna and the another fracture which is galezi fracture is on the fracture to the distal radius with ulna dislocation if a uh, radius is dislocated then montegia's fracture if ulna is located dislocating so galezi's fracture okay now last but not the least uh, last joint radio carpal joint it is between radius and carpal bones remember wrist joint is not formed by ulna bone it is formed by radius and carpal bone ulna bone is not involved in the wrist joint fibrocartilages cartilage hote hain articulating surface jo hote hain wo hote hain distal uh end of the radius and uh, proximal row of the carpal they are basically articulating proximal row of carpal maybe humne carpal ki recording mein pad chuke aap sun sakte hain char bone hoti hai scaphoid lunate and uh, tricuteral or pisiform pisiform include nahi hoti lekin tricuteral lunate aur scaphoid ye teen muscle radius ke sath articulate karti hain there are four ligaments which are present in radio carpal joint uh, that is palmar radio carpal joint dorsal radio carpal joint uh, ulnar collateral रेडियल कोलेट्रल अल्नर कोलेट्रल फ्राम अल्नर स्टाइलेट प्रोसेस टू ट्राइक्यूट्रल और पीसी फॉर्म रेडियल कोलेट्रल फ्राम रेडियल स्टाइलेट प्रोसेस टू स्केफाइड एंड ट्रेपेजियम नाउ मूव टूवर्ड्स ए नर्व विच आर सप्लाइंग टू द रेडियो कार्पल जॉइंट एंड द नर्व इज मेडियन रेडियल एंड अल्नर नर्व ऑब्वियसली रेडियल एंड अल्नर आर्टरी ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द फोर आर फ्लैक्शन एंड एक्सटेंशन फ्लैक्शन इज डन बाई फ्लैक्सर सारे मसल जिसमें फ्लैक्सर नेम आ रहा है फ्लैक्सर कार्पियल नरिस फ्लैक्सर रेडियल रेडियल अल्नरिस सॉरी फ्लैक्सर कार्पियल नरिस फ्लैक्सर कार्पी रेडियलिस फ्लैक्सर डिजिटोरम फिर सुपरफिशियलिस सो ये तीन मसल फ्लैक्शन में हेल्प करते हैं एक्सटेंशन एक्सटेंसर कार्पियल नरिस एक्सटेंसर कार्पी रेडियलिस एक्सटेंसर डिजिटोरम सिंपल एज दैट फ्लैक्शन ऑफ स्केफॉइड इन यंग जनरेशन इज वेरी कॉमन सो दिस इज द होल टॉपिक ऑफ द जॉइंट ऑफ द अपर लिम सो गाइज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड स्टडी हार्ड वर्क हार्ड एंड गुड लक बाय